Hey, hey, party people. In this video, I'm going to go over how to pick a fashion school. A lot of the stuff I'm going to talk about in this video can apply to any art school, any fine art or design program, graphic design, product design, etc. But my area of expertise is fashion, so this video will center around fashion. Normally, when I'm shooting this kind of video, it would normally be a shot of my face with all of my lovely facial expressions and all my wild hand gesticulations. But, you know, I've been traveling a lot and I miss just sitting at my desk and drawing. And I've been itching for a good drawing session, so I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone and practice some things that I'm not particularly great at. Uh, hands, back views, uh, larger figures and portraits you know working in fashion there hasn't often been a need for me to draw someone draw a picture that looks specifically like someone like I've gotten the odd job here and there but it's not something that I've needed to focus on but it's a fun thing to do so I'm gonna do a little bit of that in this video as well and do let me know in the comments if you like this kind of thing where I am talking about something while I'm drawing, but it's not a drawing tutorial, okay? It's just time lapse of me drawing while talking about something else. You know what I mean. All right, let me know. Back to the subject, how to pick a fashion school. I'm gonna list a few things. I'm gonna talk about how you can find out more information on this thing. And I'm not gonna go in any particular order because your priorities are gonna be different from someone else's priorities, okay? So here we go. In no particular order, number one, look into the school and what degrees they offer. Okay, not every school offers every degree. So make sure whether it's a bachelor in fine arts, a master's or a two-year associate certificate, whether it's a fashion design degree, a marketing degree, make sure that the school you're looking at offers the program and degree that you want. And this information should be easily available on their website. Number two, let's talk money, okay? When I say money, I don't mean just tuition. I'm also thinking about um, cost of living, especially if you're gonna be moving away from home. Think about room and board. Research the cost of living in the area of the school. Okay? A lot of you want to go to a fashion capital to study, but those cities tend to be expensive. New York, LA, Paris, London, those are expensive cities, so those are also things to think about when it comes to price. Think about your possibility for financial aid. If you are a U.S. student going to school in the U.S., there are probably um, several routes you can take in terms of financial aid, but if you're going to be studying internationally, I doubt that a lot of financial aid will be available for you because they're assuming that if you're rich enough to go abroad, you're rich enough to pay for school. You know, that sort of thing, right? So think about that. Think about the cost of materials. If you want to go into fashion design, think about your cost of materials because you're just going to be buying fabric all the time. <laughs> all the time. And because you're a student and you're going to make a lot of mistakes, you're going to Buy more fabric and you know I, I hope I'm not coming across condescending I'm laughing because I've been there I've made those mistakes I had to go buy more fabric you know all those sorts of things so it, it's coming from a commiserating <laughs> sort of place right? so think about the price think about what you can afford think about what you're comfortable in terms of loans be realistic about how much your family can help you in terms of costs. So go to the website, find out how much the tuition is. If they have a dorm situation going on, find out if that is available. And if they don't, you know, where I went to school, they have dorms now, but when I went to school, they didn't, but they did have um, an office where they help students find housing and they would know things like what are some of the average rents 
near campus. Okay, so you can find those things out. And you know, these schools, you know, they want you to go to their school for the most part. So they will help you. Okay, you can call them. And yeah, tuition, how much things cost, like dorms and stuff, that is not a secret. That's a price. And it's not supposed to be a secret because how can you buy something if you don't know the price? Number three, geography. A question I get a lot is, do you have to study in a fashion capital? No. Is it better? Unfortunately, yes. Okay. If you watch my Do You Need School video, and I'll drop a link to that somewhere, you'll remember I talked about how the alumni network is one of the reasons people go to school. Also, if you go to a school in a city that has a lot of industry, you'll have more opportunities for internships and jobs during school, too. Now, we all know the big four uh, fashion capitals, New York, London, Paris, Milan. And, you know, they are considered the big fashion capitals because they have the fashion weeks. But there are a lot more cities across the world that have plenty of industry. Like, people don't really pay attention to LA Fashion Week, but LA has a huge, thriving fashion industry with, you know, a lot of potential for jobs during and after school. So, do research more than just the big four. What is this? Number four? Number five? Number 17? Whatever. Focus. Think about your long term goals. Okay. When you finish school, what is it that you want? Do you want a job working in the industry for a big house? Look into their the school's career services, their job placement services. You know, if they have a job board, if they have a career placement office, office. You know, um, ask the admissions department what the school does to help students find internships and jobs. Because you might think that all schools have a job board or any something similar, but that's not necessarily the case. Okay? Some, some schools are more invested in finding their students' jobs than other schools. You know, uh, some schools have portfolio days. Some schools invite companies to come and have like recruitment days where they come and look at senior portfolios and interview them on campus. There are lots of different ways that schools can help students find jobs, but you do need to, you know, talk to them and see what that specific school has to offer. Another long-term goal can be you want to start your own business. Now, Personally, I think that people should work at another company for a few years before they start their own line. Because, to put it bluntly, go make your mistakes on someone else's dime. Continue your education while getting paid. That's how I feel about it. But if you want to just launch into your own business right away, ask the school, what kind of courses do you have on fashion business, apparel business, um, you know, how to be a freelancer, technical design, apparel manufacturing practices, any sort of courses that will help in that realm. Another thing that is really important to creatives when looking for the right school is whether you're going to be a good creative match with that school. Okay, Some schools are very focused on technical skills industry, you know, qualifications, and some schools are more focused on artistic expression and, you know, creative exploration and evolution, all those good things. You know, some, some are like, let's figure out how to design wearable things so you can get an industry job. You know, every school is different. What you want to do is check out their senior show. Every school has some kind of graduating show, okay? And this applies to fashion, graphics, furniture, what have you, okay? Every school has some sort of senior show where their graduating seniors can show off what they've learned, their senior, their thesis projects, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Go look at their work and see if you appreciate, respect the kind of creativity, the kind of projects that come out of that school. You don't have to agree with every single person's aesthetic, but if you can, oh yeah, that stuff looks great. Oh yeah, that's really in line with, you know, what I'm hoping to learn 
you know, all these things, you can get a good idea for the creative expression of the school by seeing their senior work. Next thing to consider, curriculum. What do you want to study? Fashion, fine art, animation, etc., etc. Within fashion, you can study women's wear, men's wear, children's wear, uh, focus on sustainability, focus on costume, textile. You can major in design, merchandising, journalism, marketing, visual merchandising, which is not the same as fashion merchandising, styling, illustration. With, within fine art, you can study photography, sculpture, painting, new media, graphic design, product design, furniture design, toy design, animation. There's a lot. Okay? Uh, those of you who are interested in fashion, Go watch my fashion careers video where I outline dozens, literally dozens of options within the fashion industry that you can explore. Just because you want to work in fashion doesn't mean you want to be a designer or that you have to be a designer. Okay? Now, if you're torn between two areas of study, I would recommend that you go to a school that offers both. You can learn more about the school and about the programs as you're taking some base foundation courses. I've never transferred myself but I hear it's such an ordeal of paperwork, okay? And transfer credits are iffy. Some schools will accept these transfer credits and some schools won't, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Now, if you're torn between three areas of study or more, or you're really undecided, I say wait. I say you need to do a little soul searching before you start paying tens of thousands of dollars in tuition. If you're loaded, or your parents are loaded and they're going to give you however much money you want to go to college for 10 years, that's awesome. I'm jealous. Go do all the things. But if you're not one of those people, yeah, don't, don't waste that money until you have a better idea of what you want for your future. Maybe take a few junior college courses because those, you know, those are tend to be pretty cheap. Okay. Explore with a few hundred dollars instead of tens of thousands of dollars. Now, what majors and what kind of courses and what kind of, you know, all of that, it should be available on the school website. You can request a course catalog, and these course catalogs, they'll show you the majors, they'll show you what courses you take within each major, and then they should also include a brief description of each course, so you get a better idea as to what exactly you will be studying. Another thing to consider are electives, okay? There's a lot of room here because some programs don't have a lot of room for electives. Some have a lot of room for electives. The school I went to at the time didn't have much room for electives at all. But then when I went to go visit campus recently, they were talking about how you could use this as an elective and you could study this for an elective. And so they really branched out. So again, you could check out their course catalog and see what they have. You know, I had a student who, she was studying fashion design, but she also really got into shoe design because she was taking these shoe design electives. She had come to visit me because she needed help rendering cork for her shoe design class. So see what's available, see what you can find. Another thing that may be very important to you is different accommodations. Okay, different schools offer different accommodations for different needs. I have had students in my classes at university, I had many deaf students, and the school uh, provided interpreters. And I've had students with PTSD who needed um, some deadline accommodations. I've had students with documented ADHD who, again, also needed some, some accommodations. Not that they were not doing the work, the same work as everyone else. You know, they had to come to class. They had to do the work. But there are certain uh, accommodations that the school can offer that can help the student succeed. And if you feel like you would have a better education experience with these kinds of services, you can research that. And this kind of information should be available on their website. Or you just go ahead and call the school. I was messaging back and forth with a YouTube viewer in another country. And he told me that they have uh, counselors for students with mental illness or just someone who wanted to talk, you know? They had those services available at their school, which I thought was awesome. So you can look and you can ask and see if they also offer those services. Final note, this is what I did when I was researching school, okay? 
And I'm not saying this is the best way, <laughs> but this is what I did if this will help you get started. At some point in high school, I learned about the CFDA competition. That is the Council of Fashion Designers of America, and they hold an annual uh, competition, design competition, that is for university students across the U.S. And I figured that the winners of that competition must be coming from the best schools in the U.S. And so I hunted down the list of the finalists and the winners for the competition. I made a list of all the schools that had winning or finalist students, and I researched those schools. And it was a long list, so I narrowed those schools down to the four I ended up applying for, but that's where I started, okay? So maybe that's something you can look up. Look up a competition that you admire, like Joe's Black Book, CFDA, and see who the finalists and winning competitors are from, and kind of let that be the beginning point of your research. That should not be the end. That should be the beginning point of your research. Okay. You can Google things like best schools for fashion or best schools for graphic design, but consider those ranking lists as starting points for you to do more research. School is a huge time and money investment, and it deserves your research. Okay. In the comments section, please feel free to ask me questions, but I will not answer questions like, which school is better, Zoe, A or B? Because it's going to depend on all those things that I just talked about in this video. <laughs> right? All right. So please do give this video a thumbs up button. If you learned something new or thought this video was helpful, share, subscribe, share with all your friends who are trying to figure out what college to go to. And uh, I will see you in the next video.